The virtual workspace allows you to work from anywhere using just an internet connection. It's like having your own office without ever leaving home. This workspace offers a full desktop environment that lets you use all of your applications in real-time or individual apps. Chasm is a Docker container streaming platform that is open source. You can keep your work secure, private, and non-attributable, with no risk of compromising your endpoint. You can deploy different applications and OS with this platform, such as Kali Linux, Ubuntu, and Chrome, Firefox, and similar browsers. In this video we go through all the steps you can self-host Chasm platform on your server and set up this virtual workspace. Don't worry if you are new to Linux, just make sure you complete every step. We have covered everything here. The first thing you need is a server to host this virtual workspace. Use a Linux-based server. This works with both AMD and ARM64 systems, but apps and images are less in ARM64 architecture. I am deploying an Ubuntu 20.04 ARM64 server on the Oracle Cloud. You can choose any provider you prefer. Check out the article in the description if you're looking for a cheap server to host this workspace. There are listings for every premium VPS provider available right now. After you deploy the server, connect to the Linux terminal using any SSH client. Here I am using the Bitwise client. OK, you are connected to the terminal. Next, we are going to install the Chasm workspace on this server. Just check out the article before you start, the link is in the description of the video. You only need to copy and paste the commands from the article because they are all listed there. Let's get root access. Chasm needs a swap partition for the stable operation of Docker containers. A swap partition is a virtual memory that aids physical memory, also known as RAM. Here, paste this long command to add 5 GB of swap space. Please adjust the size of the swap according to your needs. You can use this command to verify whether swap has been added to the system. It was added successfully. Use this command to make the swap file available when the computer boots. Next, update and upgrade your Linux applications. Go to the Chasm download page and get the link to the latest version. Copy it to the notepad and use the widget command to download the package. OK, the package has been downloaded. Next, extract the downloaded file using this command. Run the installation script, the installation process will take some time, be patient until it is finished. As soon as the installation is finished, you will see these credentials. Copy them onto a notepad. Some cloud server providers have already set up an IP table inside the server, so you have to modify it. If you use Oracle Cloud as the server provider, you have to execute this command before entering the Chasm interface. 
The web application is running on port 443, the HTTPS port. If you have not opened it already, you have to open it on your server side. Then you just have to copy and paste the public IP address into the browser. This warning message will appear as a result of the server's lack of an SSL certificate. You can easily skip this notification by using the advanced option. Log into the admin dashboard using your credentials. Here you can manage and monitor your workspace. Here I am using an ARM64 server, so that's why you see a few apps, but if you are using an AMD server, you may see more apps and images in the workspace. You can launch several Linux OS and browser isolations in a secure environment. You can access this workspace from any device and location because it is hosted on the cloud server. If you any issues regarding the tutorial, open the question directly on the Minex community forum. Because most of the YouTube comments are missed from us. Hope you enjoy the video. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this. Thank you for watching Minex.